This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover, and in this video we'll explore next level screening using equations. We'll show you when and how to use equations to take advantage of Stock Rover's comprehensive screening capabilities. Before jumping in, a quick word about accessing Stock Rover's out of the box screening capabilities. Stock Rover comes with a rather extensive collection of screeners that are available in the Stock Rover library. These screeners are all available for import. The plan column shows the Stock Rover subscription plan needed to access and operate the screener. Grayed out screeners have already been imported. When you select a screener, you can see the criteria listed below. We can see that this screener makes use of equations. Once imported, the screeners are available in the Screener Manager. It's here where functions specific to a screener can be performed. Among them are altering a screener's criteria or adding new filtering criteria. The concepts covered in this video are applicable whether you're altering a screener or creating a new screener from scratch. You can alter an imported screener or use it as the basis of a brand new screener. If you alter and later want to bring an imported screener back to its original state, you can simply re-import it from the library. To use an existing screener as the basis of a new screener, simply copy it with a different name and make whatever changes you like. Please note, screeners with equations require a Stock Rover Premium Plus subscription. Let's start first with a simple screener that doesn't use any equations at all, our growth at a reasonable price essentials screener. As we can see, the filtering criteria is based on metric threshold values. Equations are formulas constructed from metrics. Equations are appropriate when filtering based on a simple threshold won't do. A common use case for equations is to evaluate historical metrics. Let's take a look at a more advanced version of our growth at a reasonable price screener, the GARP Premium Plus screener. This screener builds upon the GARP Essential screener with not just more filters, but more granular filtering criteria as well. The equations highlighted in red are using formulas to filter based on historical values. The equations reference earnings per share, sales, and operating income, and they're filtering for consecutive trailing 12-month increases last year and this year. In the formulas, the now suffix represents the most recent trailing 12 months value. The TTM1 suffix represents the trailing 12 months value going back one year, and TTM2 represents the trailing 12 months value going back two years. Another use case for equations is comparing metric values. Let's take a look at a different screener called Improving Analyst Ratings. This screener is filtering for stocks with increasingly favorable analyst ratings. The screener consists of five equation-based filters that are evaluating metric values against each other. For example, the first equation is filtering for the current analyst consensus ratings being higher than one month ago. And the value ranges from 1 as a buy to 5 as a sell. Another use case for equations is creating complex filtering situations. Let's take a look at the Vintage Value Investing's Wealth Builder screener, which uses equations to create complex filtering criteria. Our first equation is looking at earnings per share now being greater than earnings per share at year 5, and earnings per share at year 5 being greater than they were at earnings per share year 9. Let's take a look at another equation via the equation editor. This equation is filtering for tickers where the 10-year average return on equity exceeds 15%. In our first example, we'll create equation filters that are referencing historical data. But first, let's talk a little bit about metrics. 
Out of the box, Stock Rover comes with some 650 plus metrics that cover the areas such as growth, profitability, financial strength, capital efficiency, price performance, momentum, dividends, analyst ratings, stock ratings, industry and sector deciles, financial statement data, and more, including advanced metrics such as Piotrowski F-score, price to Graham number, uh, Schiller PE, margin of safety, Beanish M-score, and Altman Z-score. To see the full list of metrics, we'll want to launch the metric browser. You can filter the display based on the columns. Selecting History, Yes, shows a list of all metrics that Stock River maintains history for. You can screen on history that goes back as far as 10 years. Let's launch the Screener Manager. Let's create a new screener. We want to filter for stocks with consecutive periods of earnings per share growth. We'll narrow down our universe of stocks to the S&P 500. We'll click on Add Freeform Equation to create our equation. We want to search for the earnings per share metric under Metrics and Functions. We see that EPS Now shows up next to the test button. This tells us that Stock Rover is maintaining history for the EPS metric. The now suffix tells Stock Rover to evaluate the recent trailing 12-month value. And as we'll see, this suffix will change when you want to reference different time periods. If a metric doesn't have history, it'll appear in the equation editor with no suffix, and it will not appear next to the test button. I want to filter for tickers where the most recent trailing 12-month EPS value is greater than the trailing 12-month value from a year ago. So let's put a greater than sign in here. And let's again look for EPS. And what we're going to do now is click on the Edit button. We can see that Stock River maintains quarterly data going back nine quarters, trailing 12 month data going back 10 years, and calendar year data going back 10 years as well. We're interested in trailing 12 months and we want TTM1, so we want to go back one year ago today. We can then click Test to verify our equation syntax. Notice also we can select which ticker we'd like to test against. Let's do this again for the previous trailing 12-month period. So I'll add Freeform Equation. Again, we'll select Earnings Per Share. We want to start at TTM1, so we want to go trailing 12 months one year ago, greater than, we'll click Edit once again, pick TTM2, and we'll add one more equation with a bit of math. So we'll go to Add Freeform Equation. We want to see a 20% increase. So what I'll do is I'll start with EPS. We'll change this to TTM2. Put our greater than in here. And do a little bit of math. So we'll pick EPS TTM3. And we'll multiply that times 1.2. So we want to see a 20% increase. Here we see our three filters. And it's very easy to edit a filter as well. So I'll edit the first filter. And we'll make it consistent for a 20% increase. And we'll do the second filter as well. We can see that Stock Rover found 19 tickers that met our filtering criteria. Let's save the screener.
We'll just give it a friendly name. To perform research on screener results, you'll want to go to the table under Research. In the navigation pane, you can select the screener you'd like to load into the table. We've selected the sample EPS screener. Here we see 19 tickers loaded into the profile view. The table uses a spreadsheet-like paradigm where each row is a ticker and each column corresponds to a metric. At the top, we have multiple views from which to select. You can change these views or create your own views. Let's take a slightly different approach and instead create the same screener using a single filter with Boolean logic. We'll narrow our universe down to the S&P 500 only. We'll click on Add Freeform Equation again. And in the Equation Editor, what I'm going to do is paste my formula. Keep in mind that once you're comfortable with the syntax, you can simply type Freeform into the Equation Editor and use test to verify the syntax. We can see we're now filtering on earnings per share now being greater than the earnings per share from a trailing 12 month period one year ago times 1.2. We're also doing it for last year and the previous year. Once again, we return 19 tickers. Let's save this screener. The last screener demonstrates the use of one of many Stock Rover equation functions. So again, we'll narrow down our universe to the S&P 500. This screener is going to filter for S&P 500 stocks that recently stopped paying dividends. So we'll go and add freeform equation. We want to look at dividend per share. We're interested in the dividends per share now, well, not being reported. So we're going to use an equation function is null. And dividend per share. We'll edit. Pick TTM1. And we're interested in those that pay dividends. So we want our equation function is not null. We can see that Stock Rover returned 22 tickers. Let's save. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer, as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.